Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. I'm Wanda and today we're going to be talking about how to grow in a small area or how to grow if you're one person or two people that you can't garden like normal, like in rows and turn your whole area into a garden. The green stock planter and the mini greenhouse. So I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going on in it right now. We're getting ready to start some seeds and we're just going to talk about growing as a single person or two people in on a mini homestead like you only have your patio, an apartment, um, limited yard space, whatever. This is a way to grow something that you can eat. First we have the green stalk planter. These plants have all been in this planter since the winter time and we're going to let some of them continue to grow. Some of them will take out and add new, but I'm going to show you with the green stalk planter. It's a vertical planter that can, most anything can be grown in it, and it has the supports to help support any plants. You put the taller plants on the bottom, and you work your way up with smaller plants. So these have been in for a while now, and we've been eating on them. We have the rainbow shard in several places. And you can see I've been taking it off. Saturday I even had a stir fry. We have the onions, and you can clip those onions and eat uh, green onions. And it's great to add those to anything where you don't have regular uh, big slicing onions. There's some more shard. Here, our bell pepper. Now I did not think this thing would winter, but look, I have a small bell pepper. And then I have bunches of smaller bell peppers and blooms under it. And we've taken most of the leaves off. It is in the bottom down here. But you can see some of the leaves got a little damage. And bugs do get in here. Even though it's a greenhouse, look at this. They ate some of my leaves. The Malabar spinach got bit back really, really bad. It was growing beautifully in here. We're going to take and clip some of this, take the seeds off, and it'll come back from the roots and it'll cover this whole area in here in beautiful Malabar spinach. So if you're looking to see what it looked like in the summer, I've got uh, videos in the link in the top below, above. Down here, more uh, shard and onions and basil. Now the basil is not a winter crop, but it has wintered. We're going to keep some basil in the green stalk planter. Now, if you're interested in the green stalk planter, I am an affiliate, and you can check the link below for green stalk vertical planters. This is a moringa plant. I've trimmed it back. It's been in here all winter. It is still green. We'll plant it in the ground at the cabin, and it will bloom. It will come out and put on leaves and stuff. Here we have a pineapple plant, and like some weeds, some wood sorrel that the chickens love. And it's doing great. It's been in here all winter. We're just checking to see how long it will last. Some of our things down here, this is where once we start our seeds, these will be the pots that we add them to after they get up, you know, so tall. We'll put them in these pots. And then we will transfer them into bigger pots if needed or into the ground according to how it goes. Back here is a netting for the green stalk. It covers the whole thing to help keep bugs out. And I've not used it during the winter. I used it in the fall when we had a bug infestation problem and it did really well. You see here, the Malabar spinach is trying to come out. So I'm leaving it. It's gonna be great. Now, some of you've asked about these. This is a ABBA greenhouse. It's a mini greenhouse. It has several um, shelves in it. I'm going to be potting some seeds, and we're going to use this shelf over here to set it in. And we're going to be using the house tool seed trays, house tool seeds and stuff. And we're going to be getting that ready. And we're going to see if this mini greenhouse will get our plants up big enough to get them in the ground or repot if it's still kind of cool. So we're going to be trying it today. And in three or four weeks, we'll see how it does. Okay, so today we're going to be using the house tool trays. This holds, uh, let's see, I think it's hold on here, 162 plants. Hey, that is a lot of plants. It's more than I'm going to need 
of anything, but sometimes you have plants that don't make it. Some are kind of puny and stuff, so we're over planting. And if we have some left, we'll find somebody that we can give them to or sell them or at a local feed store or something like that. But these are rugged. Guys, you don't bend them. They're good. I mean, heavy duty trays. I'm talking heavy duty. And they're tapered at the bottom. These come to a small point here at the bottom. And you can take a pencil and push them out. Where most are the same size from top to bottom, these aren't. These start out this size and go to a point in the back. I'm going to be using this tray that I used last year. And you can use these over and over and over again as long as you keep them in out of the weather and take care of them. And they fit in this watering tray. So we're going to fill it up with dirt and we're going to put our seeds in and then we're going to put it in the watering tray and put it in the mini greenhouse. Now Danny's going to be doing some in the big greenhouse. This is Wanda's project for growing in small spaces. All right, we got our dirt from a local hardware store to fill these trays because you don't want to use your dirt on them because it gets really packy. And you want something like this that has some filler in it that keeps these trays from drying out. And you want to just kind of fill them in. And 162. This is a lot of plants, guys. I could start my whole garden with these and transplant. And as you see, 162 plants. If you did a variety, each line a variety, you could start your whole garden in this little section here. That would be pretty awesome. But I'm doing tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers today. And this loose soil like this fills in really easily. Doesn't take that much time. And guys, this is just regular potting soil. It is not a seed starter mix. So if I see any little twigs or something or pieces of bark that are too big, I take it out. And it's working really well. Now comes the hard part. Let's get the seeds in there. Alright, so Wanda planted all these and did not get video of it because the camera wasn't on. So, we are going to take it one at a time. I have the yellow Marconi sweet peppers. These were seeds that we saved from last year and I did a whole row. Then all the rest of these are Hoss tools. I have the California Wonder bell pepper, the Merlot Purple bell pepper, the Touchdown bell pepper, Lola banana pepper, the Aruba um, Cubanelle peppers, Greek pepernici, pepernici. Um, let's see what are, where are we at. The jalapeno pepper, the long slim cayenne pepper, the national pickling cucumber, Stonewell. Stonewall Cucumber, the Bella Rosa Tomato, the Taki Tomato, the Red Snapper Tomato, Champion Radish, Watermelon Radish, Bright Light Swiss Chard, and the Butter, butter Crunch Lettuce. If all these make 
and do. That is a lot. 162 plants, guys. These things, some of them will go in the green stalks. Some of them will go in pots that Danny and I have at the cabin and over here. And some of them may go into the greenhouse. So this gives us our salad stuff started early. We had a lot of good luck with the shard in the green stalk planter. So we're going to continue on. I had a lot of good luck with it in the yard and in the garden. So you can't have enough, right? And when we get through with these, we're going to take it to the mini greenhouse. We just got through watering the seeds that we put out for hall stools and there's a link in the description below for hall stool seeds, the trays, the uh, two wheel hose, things like that. We hope to have some of these up and going for by the time we have the gathering in March. And that is March 21st here in Perkinston, Mississippi. Danny and I are hosting a get together. So you can check it out in the link below. And Travis from Hall Stools is supposed to be there if everything goes okay. And he's going to be giving away a single wheel hoe. So that it would be a great gift to have is the single wheel hoe. So you can grow in a small area. This mini greenhouse takes up little to no room. We have this one anchored to concrete because there was a little concrete pad here that was supposed to have been for something else. And we just use, use it for the greenhouse. We take the plastic off in the summertime. So this is my second year, my second winter using the plastic. The green stalk is inside here during the winter and last summer I just took the plastic off and left it because I wasn't growing anything in the, in the greenhouse. So now we've got our plant started that we can use out in our garden. So if you don't have very much space, this amount of plants, this was 162 I think, would plant a good area garden like a 10 by 12 garden or 12 by 14 garden. You could plant almost all these in it and be done if you started your plants in time to get them out. This is one way that you can grow in a small area and enjoy some food off and on all summer and all winter. So thank you guys from Crazy Days.